Oh, protein. Never leave me. Mm. What's going on guys, Gabriel Say, aka The Truth, checking in for Access All Areas episode 4. Now we're talking about supplements and nutrition. As you can see in the beginning clip, I love my protein. This week I thought I'd run through what supplements I take when I'm competing. So, um, let's start off with protein. Now, I tend to just use Protein's been, protein powder has been quite a big part of this diet, probably about two or three shakes a day. Um, I normally just use it just to fill in the gaps. If I'm, if I'm already taking in a lot of food and I need that extra boost of protein, then that's when I tend to take it. There's no specific time to take it. There's no right time. There's no wrong time. So that's why I take protein and I normally use a whey isolate like Microway or Optin Nutrition's Gold Standard, which tastes real good. Next up, good pre-workout. Now this is Muscle Bomb. I've got the caffeine free one and the one with caffeine. I tend to use non-caffeine um, in the lead up. So probably like the early stages, mainly because if I'm to use a one with caffeine in it early on, when my energy levels drop later on down the line and I don't have enough energy because of the calorie deficit, I don't have anything to play with. So start off with caffeine free, <coughs> excuse me, and then I'll move on to the caffeine based stuff. And on to a good BCAA. So this is my amino drink and this time I chose Grenade Defend. Tastes good and Comes with something that not many other brands put in there. That's clever. You know, just put that into a big, because I have it in my big two litre bottle of water. I can just add it in there easily without making a mess. There's been times where I've tried to like roll up a piece of paper into a funnel and then pour it in there and it all just goes everywhere and then you're wasting your gains. Vitamin C. Take this to help with my immune system. Again, when in a calorie deficit, sometimes your immune system can take, can take a shot and top, keeping your vitamin C topped up is definitely the way forward. Next up, my omegas. This is for um, healthy cardiovascular health. Um, Omega 369 is proven to, to help with just general healthy lifestyle. So always keep that on deck. Crealcaline. This is a buffered creatine. I only really started using this probably two years into lifting because I started taking the monohydrate and during the loading period, I was retaining a lot of water. I didn't really like the look and that kind of thing. It just made me feel uncomfortable. So um, a friend pointed this one out to me, Crealcaline. It There's no bloat um, and it's a buffered creatine. So that's what I've been using for quite a while now. Now glutamine, this one I chose the Cytic one. I go with whatever brand. I think the, the best thing about being free agent, so to speak, and just being able to assess other products through Know What's Up is I could choose whatever the hell I want to choose. And I chose this one um, just purely because I wanted a pure glutamine not because of the packaging, no, not because of anything. Glutamine actually, some people have different opinions on this. Glutamine actually lines the stomach. So it lines the stomach so you can absorb the nutrients better. A lot of people preach that, oh, it's for recovery, it's for this, for that. The long run of it is, yes, good recovery because if you're taking in more nutrients and they're being used properly, then you'll recover a bit quicker, but that's not the primary function. And last but not least, Fat burners. This time I went with grenade. I always go with grenade if I'm, if I'm honest. 
Um, I used it once, I tested it against other ones and they're the ones that give me the best feeling. It's not a magic pill, it's not, it doesn't instantly make you lose fat. It just gets me through those grueling cardio sessions with and has some added ingredients that help you lose fat, if you get what I mean. So don't be conned by the supplement game. It's a huge, huge industry. It's making loads of money and the, the more fitness people are coming onto the scene, the bigger it's gonna be. So there are gonna be good products, there are gonna be bad products. If you want to check these out for yourself, check out knowwhatsup.com. I'll put the link, the banner across the screen. And you can make your own decision. Compare products, see which one's best, get honest reviews onto nutrition. Loads and loads and loads of you have been asking this. I had a video, a previous video called How To Get Shredded and people, some people were saying it's too vague. A lot of people were saying they liked it. So let me go into more depth. Let me give you a sample of how to build your own macros for a cut. So first of all, grab a pen and paper because otherwise you get lost. To calculate your macros, first of all, you need to figure out what your maintenance is. So to figure that out, take your weight in pounds and times that by 15. Once you have that number, take away, say, let's go with 400 to put you into a calorie deficit. Now we need to figure out how to split that. So what your macronutrient split is. Now, I don't tend to use this anymore, but this is what I used to use. I do online coaching, so if you are interested, there'll be a link on the screen to let you know how to get involved with that. But let's go over the basics of a 40-40-20 split. So this means that 40% of your calories will come from protein, 40% will come from carbs, 20% will come from fats. So you have your calories, you've figured that out, you've figured out your deficit, so now you've got a total there. Now times that total by 40%, that gives you your amount of calories for protein. Do the same for your carbs, times by 40%, that's your calories for your carbs, then times it by 20, 20%, and that gives you your calories for fats. Now, to figure out the grams, divide the, car the protein by four, the carbs by four, and then the fats by nine. This gives you your protein, carbs, and fats in grams of your allowance for the day. Now, a lot of people will say that you have, you, you know, it has to be seven meals a day, it has to be six meals a day, it has to be five meals a day. Do what you're comfortable with. Let's start with, say, five meals. So, breakfast, lunch, dinner, two snacks, so to speak. Split that equally over all five meals, your protein, carbs, and fat, split it equally over all five meals, and then those are your macros for each, each meal. So there you go. That's your plan. So now you have to figure out what foods need to go into it. And that's simple. Grab my fitness pal. Just make sure that the foods are coming from healthy, natural sources and be creative. And there are different ways that I might look at certain things depending on the person's metabolism, speed, um, and that kind of stuff. But this is just a very basic, very basic breakdown of how you can start. Now, when you're looking to adjust your macros, it all depends on how your body re responding to it. The general consensus is to reduce your carbs a little bit, but this is where it, it's handy to kind of have someone watching over you. And then it's trial and error. Even if you haven't got someone watching over you, it's trial and error. If something's not working, like say you reduce the carbs and nothing happens, try increasing the fats a little bit. Um, I'd normally try and keep the protein at a good level. It's, that's not something that you really want to reduce and play around with unless crucially necessary to reduce the calories but more than more than often it's not not really important so yeah that, that's pretty much it i hope 
I went into a bit more detail for you guys um, to be able to figure out macros for yourself. I know it's been a question that you guys have been asking me, but like I said, this not the exact method that I use at the moment. So yes, I do online coaching and it was mainly for people who were in contest prep, but I've been taking on a few more clients who are just everyday people looking to get in shape or if you're trying to get in shape for a photo shoot. So that's pretty much it. Next week is gonna be interesting. I'm actually I'm three weeks out, three weeks out yesterday. So I'm, I'm excited but nervous as well, especially competing in another country. I've never done that before. Oh, actually, yeah, I did WBFF Denmark. I've never competed in America. So that's it. Stay tuned for episode five. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share. And until next time, peace.